one promise is that you'll never let Team Italy's uniforms look anything like Great Britain's uniforms because those were <laughs> oh, the they were they were bad right? of all yeah. time. Yes, of all time. Like I don't know if they're going to be able to get over that. <laughs> Somebody let that slip through the cracks, and it, I mean the freaking the 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 names I mean, lame, the right? letters were falling off. Oh my God. Well, you know, it's funny you say that. And I'll real quick story is like this was the first year that the Major League Baseball facilitated where we had to get our own uniforms and our own uh, sponsor. Uh, and we used the soccer company. The company's called Area, and they're actually out of Parma where I live. And they had never made baseball uniforms before. So when they were doing the mock ups and stuff, uh, I was like, going, man, these guys are big leaguers. So I told John Marco, I said, dude, when we get to Taipei, we got to have a tailor there. We have to have a seamstress there. And it turned out to be great because, you know, these, these two Taiwanese people come in. This little dude comes in. He's got the tape measure. And so some of the pants were like, what? Like, I mean, it was just like it was like wearing trainer's pants or something, you know. And so um, that was the one thing. I mean, in years past, the Major League Baseball did the uniforms. And this year was was that one exception. So I don't know what they're going to do in the future for the next Classic. But we were fortunate. I mean, Array was a great company. I mean, our uniforms were kind of different, but at least guys were happy with them. And so today, I was like, man, these guys are really particular about their uniforms. So that the, that was another story. How the fuck does Major League Baseball not pay for your uniforms? They're making billions of dollars off this thing, and they can't throw a couple hundred grand in Italy and be like, hey, guys, we're going to make your uniforms. You guys can design. This is what they should do. They should get the teams together, and they should say, yeah. you're going to design your uniforms. like the That CBS. would make sense. And say, well, you, you know as well as – well, I mean, in, now that I'm in the management space, you know, I see that, you know, they changed years ago. I mean, they went to Nike, right, uh, a few years ago, and I knew there were some rollout problems. And in their defense with COVID and the supply chain issues, all the stuff that they talked about. But um, years it was Majestic, I believe. And then when I came out the Dodgers, it was Rawlings, and they, they did our uniforms. But since they shifted to Nike, I know during the, the, the uh, pandemic there was some issues, like, even with the teams – they had issues with even the regular teams. So I think this classic, they just kind of punted and said, look, you, you guys do your own uniforms. Uh, <laughs> and and some, I, even Venezuela, like I looked at Venezuela, I don't know, it, it, it was a little loud. It wasn't my cup of tea. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> they, they liked it, Colombia and whatnot, you know, because there's a lot of yellow going on there. Uh, it was cool. I mean, look, so, I, you know. Wait, who was the Great it, Britain it was, guy then that was like, if they Great Britain made their own uniforms, they're like, all right, we're just going to put Great Britain on our uniform. <laughs> and, the, and the letters call are going to fall off. Yeah, we're going to call it a day. Lay, man. That's, that's what I'm saying. Obviously, someone dropped the ball on that. But, but in their defense, you know, these teams had never done that before. I mean, we, we were fortunate because we curated, you know, a soccer company that does soccer uniforms. And they never done baseball. So now they've been working and now they're getting their swatches better and they're getting their, their uniforms better and the buttons and these zippers and all that. So yeah, I mean, we were lucky, but yeah, we had to, you have to take control of that. And uh, yeah, some of them were kind of, kind of goofy, <laughs> goofy. <looking. laughs> Obviously Japan was like perfect, right? They look like robots with the stripes and everything. When we played them, I was like, Oh my God, you know? And one last thing I'll say about, you know, when we played Japan, in Japan, 48 million people watch the game. One out of every two TVs in Japan watch the game. It's the highest watched game in the history of Japan, even more than the final. Now, even though there were some time change issues because it was Miami to Tokyo, that, that game we played there was just incredible, and it was just a, a big success. So I think Major League Baseball was a little bit surprised. This could have been the year that the classic kind of faded away. But I think uh, putting aside some of the negative stuff and the injuries, it turned out to be an incredible home run, lack of a better word for MLB. Oh, yeah. Stronger than ever. I agree. And yeah. they will definitely be paying for all the unis again. There's no <laughs> doubt. Hearing that, too, again, you're reminding me, like, how many people were watching? How many ads? How much money was made? And I'm like, I, we, I just spent the weekend watching MLB's coverage of, of the London series. And they're, yeah. they're spending all this money, outreach. We want to get more players in, in Great Britain. And we talked about this at the top. And I'm like, here's a good idea. Don't embarrass Great Britain by making them set up their own uniforms. <laughs> like, you want baseball to be cool in England? Like, you you made I think they were trying to replicate. I think, little leaguers would have made fun of. <laughs> I think they were trying to replicate the fog of London. Like, the whole uniform was just <laughs> fog. <laughs> like, could, that's why the letters you know, the, fall off, because you couldn't yeah, see Yeah, the shitty weather. Yeah, just <laughs> fog, man. Like, there was no Union Jack there. There was no, like, 
you know, the London guard, they could have done something kind of cool. Uh, fish and chips. Yeah. What other stereotype of London, England could you do? You know, but yeah. Sherlock Holmes, the letters. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. With the pipe, they all come out with the pipe or something. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, it was lame.